Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out Google Chromecast. This is a streaming device that will allow you to stream video from things such as Netflix and YouTube and also send anything on the web within the Chrome browser to your TV from your smartphone, tablet, or laptop. And it works for Android, iOS, OS X, and Windows. So we are going to check this out and I'm going to give you a little demo of it. This is a very interesting device and in a sense it's meant to compete with Apple TV's AirPlay feature but it's a little bit different and I'll show you how it works here in a second. Let's go ahead and get everything out of the box. We have the unit right here and we can pull out everything else. Now the first thing that we have in here is a little power block and that's because the Chromecast unit needs to have power at all times. Now you can use this USB cable to plug it into your TV if you have a USB port but if you don't, you'll have to use this little power block and plug it into the wall. The next thing we have here is an HDMI extender, and if Chromecast won't fit in your TV's HDMI port, you can use this extender here. Now here is the unit, and it's rather small as you can see, uh, just a little bit bigger than a standard flash drive, I guess. And it's got a lot of stuff packed in there. It's got Wi-Fi as well. And on the top, we have the micro USB port. And then what I think is a little reset button, though. I haven't tried it, actually. So this will plug right into your TV along with the USB cable to power it. And then you'll be able to stream things from your Mac, PC, Android, or iOS device. Now, here is the back of my TV. And what we have to do here is plug this into an HDMI port. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this guy in here and then all we have to do is take the little USB cable and make sure that we have it powered. So I'm actually going to plug this into the USB port on my TV. Let's go ahead and plug it into the Chromecast here and then we will plug it into one of the USB ports on the back of my TV here. Once I had it all plugged in, I just had to fire up the Chrome browser and go to google.com slash Chromecast slash setup and download the setup app here and this is going to help connect it to our Wi-Fi network here in the house. So all I have to do is enter my Wi-Fi password information in into here and then I also do have the ability to rename the Chromecast so it'll show up now as Dom's Chromecast as you can see there once you click on continue it will begin connecting it to your Wi-Fi network and then once it's finished you'll see the splash screen right here that says ready to cast and we are pretty much done with the installation so I want to show you guys how this works here and in the YouTube app here if you have this all connected you can press on that little cast button up there by the search icon next it'll bring up a pop-up menu and you'll be able to select your Chromecast from the list here I know that's kind of hard to see but I wanted to get you guys a big enough picture here so once you tap on the Chromecast in the list it'll begin to beam the video over and you see the YouTube logo in the background there and after a bit of a pause here you'll see the video pull up on the television and there we go we are streaming to the Chromecast it's actually pulling the YouTube video from YouTube and beaming it to the TV as opposed to the phone sending the signal to the TV so here's an idea on how long it takes to change positions in the video using the in-app scrubber there in the YouTube app it takes a second or two to readjust to that position in the video but overall it's not too bad now the quality of the streaming is kind of meh it's just it's okay it's not super high quality though in, in my opinion it, it does do a very good job though and I didn't notice any major lag or glitches aside from the normal lag you'd get from using the internet now, I'm going to show you how browsing the web works with Chromecast. With Google Chromecast, I actually have the ability to mirror everything that's within Chrome's browser or this specific tab to Google Chromecast. So as you can see, when I click on that and then I click cast this tab, it will actually pour over that entire web page to my TV and I can browse through it as I normally would right there. And as you can see, the delay between the computer screen and the actual TV, that is the real time delay that I'm showing you. Uh, so it does have a little bit of a delay when you're scrolling and stuff like that. It's really not too bad though, as you can see. And we can even visit other websites here. So anything that's happening in this tab inside of Chrome, you can see on your TV. And then I can go off even and do other things on my Mac and and leave that tab open just on my TV. I can even go in another tab and it won't broadcast that second tab. It'll only still continue to broadcast the first tab 
to Google Chromecast. So it is a pretty cool little method there. I really do like how this functionality of Google Chromecast works. It actually does work pretty well. Now, as you can see here, I am on Vimeo and I can actually play back Vimeo videos right from Google Chrome as well. Anything that you can play, any media you can play within this browser will pretty much all play on your TV because Google Chromecast is actually pulling that feed directly from the web and putting it on your TV. It's not actually streaming straight from your device, it actually is pulling it from the web using its own little computer operating system inside of Google Chromecast. So this has been my overview of Google Chromecast and I really think this is an excellent device. For 35 bucks, you really can't go wrong. It'll turn basically any TV with an HDMI input into a smart TV and that is the best part about this you can beam video you can beam music and you can even beam the web straight from your Mac PC iOS device or Android device to your TV as I mentioned earlier the streaming quality from YouTube is just kind of all right it's definitely watchable but I didn't think that it was a uh, very super high quality now I haven't had a chance to test Netflix so I can't speak for that but other than that, I think this is a great device. I think it has a lot of future potential in it. There's probably a lot of stuff that Google has planned for this that they haven't even announced yet. So for 35 bucks, you can't go wrong. If you'd like to pick one up, I'll be sure to drop a link in the description for you. It's available, like I said, for 35 bucks. I mean, it's really not that much for what you're getting out of this. You're turning a TV into a smart TV with a little dongle. I mean, it's pretty awesome. So check it out and be sure to let me know what you guys think down in in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.